All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back. I see it's back at me. How you doing? I hope everything is good with you. I got this 2005 Toyota Matrix. Okay, this is the first generation facelift. All right, that would be like if you have a car, Toyota Matrix between 2005 and 2008, this video is for you. I'm going to show you. You can see what I'm about to show you. I'm going to show you how to replace the front, uh, front rotors and brake pads okay you see the state of this uh this brake okay i'm gonna show you real quick how to fix this okay uh shout outs to everybody that support the channel thank you for the love thank you for the support where would I be without you? If you want to support the channel, you know, down here, there's a heart, look like a, that's a super tense button, look like a heart. Click on it, go through it, you see what's up, do your thing. That's a return of kindness, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna leave it right here, come with me. Let's get it. I'll replace this baby, all right? Boom. Let me turn this a little bit, okay? That's Gucci. Let me show you something. This is how this baby looks like, okay? This is going to be 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter. Those are the bolts for the caliper. Then uh, these are for the bracket. That's going to be 17 millimeter socket. 17. All right. Okay, come on. 14 millimeter socket, okay? They, they, this bolt's the same length, as you can see. Put it on the side. Next, we're gonna pry out the caliper. This one is not that bad. We need to push back that piston. Let me get the uh, the piston pusher. Okay, all the tools that I'm using for this job, I'm gonna put it down below in the view product section. Soon I'm gonna be putting my phone number so you can call me if you have any concern, any problems with your car. Turn the clockwise. The tool is gonna to start pushing the uh, compressing the, the piston. Okay. Just like that, all the way, all the way to the back. Now to remove it counterclockwise. You see what I'm doing right here, right? Now this thing, put it on the side. Let's take a look at the brake pads. Not bad, right? This clip is gonna let you know when you need to uh, replace your brake pads before they start touching the rotor. I mean, it's gonna start touching the rotor, the rotor. This is the rotor, okay? For those that don't know. Over here in the back, 17, 17. I don't have a space, so I'm gonna use a wrench. When I have a spade, this is my favorite uh, favorite uh, tools, especially this one. Certain thing over there. It give me more leverage. That's what it does. I'm right. feel a little bit lazy. I don't need to hold you up. I don't, don't want to hold you up here. That's why I'm doing it fast. That's one.
this both bolts are the same length okay remove the bracket as you can see these are the sliders they are dry bone bone dry whatever so we're going to clean it lube it okay it's up to you it depends though if, if the hardware is rusty and and, and, and broken or a crack or a crack then replace it it comes with the new uh brake pads okay what am i going to do with it i'm going to spray some brake cleaner and brush it some more brake cleaner should do it Gucci do the same on the other side you know spray it brush it way better right good hit it with the hammer if it doesn't come out like that hit it good like that okay a roar coming out just like that okay I'll spray some brake cleaner. We mount the rotor, we wipe it, clean it with a brake cleaner. Okay. Mount the bracket, put the 17 millimeter, tie it, snug it. The same way you remove it, the same way you put it back, okay? Now, these guys, clean it, lube it, put it back. They both the same length, okay? No biggie. The bracket. Uh, spray some brake cleaner, brush it. Okay. And put some uh, uh, silicone lubricant. Okay. Here, 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 and here. Okay. Now, put the brakes, the brake pads on, just like that. On this one, you remember the clip, the new brake pads doesn't come with the clip. So you're going to have to take it from the old one, just like this. It goes, it goes on just like that, okay. I also put some lubricant here, that's for the piston, in here too for the bracket, mount it just like that, okay? Now I'm gonna put the, mount the caliper. Just like that. Put the 14s. If you use an impact, be careful though. I'm using it at the low level of power. Okay, this this gun has three levels. I'm using it at, at the at the middle middle level. Now I'm gonna tie it by hand.
and then shut it tight. That's it. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you the part number. It's pretty much with this baby for the rotor. Ray Bestos, that's the part number, front rotors, okay? 96934R, Ray Bestos, that's for the rotor. For the brake pads, same brand, Ray Bestos, that's the part number, front brake pads, okay? MGD923CH, okay? You see it, that's pretty much it with this. Now here, we come over here, where everything is beautiful, remove that key dog, it's making too much noise. A step on the brake pedal, it's going to be soft, but then it's going to start getting harder, pause, because the piston is pushing the, you know, the rotor and the brake pads all together, that's why it gets hard pause now we go to the engine bay of the chair okay and we check for the level fluid level you see it's right there at the match this is the match level right there you see it okay the fluid is right there if let's say the fluid is over here top it off with some uh, brake fluid of course this is the cap the cap says uh, that three right here only that three fluid okay top it off put the cat back and you could uh, uh, before you uh, uh, compress the the caliper piston eh, I wouldn't say it's a good idea to remove the cap so you release some pressure and when you push the, the piston back the fluid is just gonna flow it's not gonna build up because of the now, when you wrote this, they try to hear for so, some sounds and noise coming from the front. If you don't hear anything, you're good though. But uh, always obey the speed limit in your town. If it says 40, then okay, go 40 miles per hour. And then when you brake, brake gradually like this. Not like this, like this. Then when, when you get to uh, 10 miles per hour, go again at 40 miles per hour, do the same type of brake. That's just so the brake pads get used to the new rotor and vice versa. And yeah, after that, like after four times you do that, everything's Gucci, all right? Uh, you know what to do with the, uh, with the subscribe button, okay? You know what to do with the like button. If you have anything to say, put it in the comment box. Let me know how you feel about this car. You like it, you don't, you're stuck with it, but you want to sell it. Whatever you want to say about this car, put it in the comment box. Let me know, all right? You want to support the channel? Down here, there's a car. It says Super Tense. Okay, click on it, go through it, do your thing, all right? I, will, I, I would appreciate it a lot from the bottom of my heart, all right? Other than that, shout outs to my subscribers, viewers, haters. I love you. Thank you for everything, all right? You want me to uh, reach more people? You know what to do with the share button. Click on it smash it i'm gonna live right here thank you for watching i like your boy stupid i'm clacking out